Namaste everyone. My name is Yura Sonaune and I welcome you all to the Adapto channel also known as Adapto Learning. Today we will be talking about Flutter version management that is known as FVM. FVM is a package which helps us to maintain different versions of Flutter and Dart SDK on the system which you are developing on. Currently it supports Windows, Mac OS and Linux. Today we will be only talking about Windows installation and how does it work for us who are developing on a Windows machine. So let's get started. But there are some requirements before that also which we will look into first after visiting the website for FVM and that will be related to Choco package but let's talk about it later on. To install of FVM just open any of your favorite browser just type in FVM and press enter. The first link which you can see on the browser is for Flutter version management. Here you can either go to the main page or directly visit the installation page as you can see here in the link. Just click on that. You will visit this installation page. Here it will be saying standalone recommended. Now you can see that macOS is the first preference of a lot of Flutter developer. That's why they have put macOS I think so. But I'm not using macOS. Has at this moment and i want to install it on windows so i'll click on the windows tab right now we don't have a choco installed and let me show you if uh, what that scenario is so i'll be using a terminal i'll be using it in a administrative mode i'll run it as an admin i'll create a new window for powershell because the first one is created in a uh, command line here i will type choco and you can see choco is not installed now to install choco Click uh, open a new tab, type choco for windows and here you can see chocolatte.org is something which you will be shown as a first URL that is where you want to go but you should not click on the first link itself because there are a lot of packages from them and you might get a lot confused regarding that so just click on install option which is shown into the search page. Here you can see that the step one is to enter your email ID and subscribe to the newsletters and all but that's an optional thing so you can just skip it. Go to the second step which says that these are the requirements which you should fulfill before installing this package. Now basically I am running on Windows 10 and I don't need to check for this part. By default I am running PowerShell so that's also covered. Now .NET or is something you might not have on your windows 7 system if you are using so i don't know that you are you're running or not but if you're running windows 10 not net framework 4 is something which is pre-installed but even if it's not installed or you might have not got the update just go to windows just search for windows updates that is like windows updates and update and it will show you this option press enter you will come here click on check for update it will search for update if it has anything to install and then you will see that if uh, framework 4 is not installed it will also show that here in the update section and you can just install it from there right now i have i have a completed system so i don't need to install anything from the windows update so the second step which really starts from is installing chocolate on individual users we don't want to go for anything else because we are currently installing on a local development system now uh, the first thing which you want to see is if you have permissions or not that is if you are in restricted mode or not just copy this uh, command from here press enter you will see i am in restricted mode now when you are in this mode you need to bypass this restriction for this particular installation and so to do so just copy this statement or a command from the given website or come to the console copy paste that is paste the control v and just press enter now uh, currently what we are doing is we are just bypassing this rule temporarily uh, your system is not into like any harms and all and then later on uh, it is installing now you can see that it was a very small installation and we have installed it right now it will show virus and protection thread because i have enabled ransomware protection because of which windows will always block uh, any accesses uh, to my folders and all and it will always ask me if i want to allow it or not it might not be the same case for you but just as a precaution as a developer i follow this you don't have to do anything and you might not even get this windows okay so you don't have to worry about this pop-ups and alerts 
now we are done with this we can just check choco if it's installed or not and you can see that chocolate version 1.1.0 is installed on my system and i can continue i just i can I, I have to just close this window and now i can continue with installation of fvm so i will select uh, this command by clicking on this copy button and come to the terminal and press control b where i am pasting the command and press enter now you can see that uh, choco latte has started its installation process you can see the first thing it's uh, downloading is that sdk 2.16.2 and uh, it also have started downloading of fvm version 2.3.1 which are the latest one at the moment of this recording which is on uh, 18th may 2022 okay and now it's saying do you want to run this script or not i will definitely want to run this script if you want to go through each and every script you can just uh, press yes i normally do a and then press enter and it will start its its own process of uh, setting up all the paths setting up all the variables and downloading you can see that uh, it's downloading uh, downloading the sdk at the moment so wait for the download to finish now the windows sdk has been downloaded it's now been extracted now it's setting up all the settings and all you can and now you can see that we are done with installation now you can do fvm sorry fvm and we have fvm installed on our place now let's see into the next phase of how we should configure it so when you are using fvm as you can see i will redo this for you all i will clear the screen now i will type fvm fvm not fmv sorry now in fvm we have following commands which you can use first releases then use you can also use install because you want to install sdk so before use you will have to use install so what i'll do i want to install flutter version 3 right now so i will do fvm and then releases and press enter now it will give me a list of all the flutter versions available for us to download you can see that it's from zero you can just see that all the versions are available for you to have access and you can start the project in any of these available versions so now if i want to install this flutter version uh 3.0.0 what i'll do is fvm install install 3.0.0 and i have to just press enter now here it's showing you that installing version 3 it's cloning from the repository is downloading right now it's around 300 mb or something i don't know i, I can be wrong so currently it's installing it's downloading not installing let it download first now it's downloading the flutter sdk not a dart sdk that is uh, how it works so while downloading the da sdk for flutter dart sdk is also downloaded by default so the first dart sdk was for running the basic fpm now this dart sdk is specific to uh, flutter version which we are installing for example 3.0.0 it takes some time so do not worry see it took some time for downloading and then now it started expanding the download that is extracting the files from the archive you have to be patient And here we are we are done with installation and you can see that flutter 3 was installed from channel which is stable channel it is using dart version 2.17.0 again if i'm not sure about uh, what version would be suitable i'll again run fpm releases okay i can see that the version i was talking about 
is somewhere around here that is march 3rd 2022 i know that this is working fine for me and that is something my project is working uh, using so what i'll do i'll install that version at the moment i can install the other version or the next version also that's not an issue like we can see i have installed version 3 but uh, currently i'll install this version because my current project supports that so i'll install 2.10.3 press enter now it will again download that particular uh, flutter version it will also download its sdk for dart and all if it's not installed expanding the download archive that's good news because it tells you that the download was successful So as you can see that we have installed flutter version sdk 2.10.3 and as well as the dart version for this sdk is uh, 2.16.1 which is 2.17.0 for flutter 3 this is how you install version in fpm now we will see how we will configure this for global and local projects for example fpm if you click on fpm you can see that there is something known as global okay which will tell you what exactly you are going to use for a flutter version as an for common projects or for the starter projects okay after downloading two different versions of sdk we need to configure a global version as well as a local version uh, config where we store the information which sdk will be used for what so we just type for S uh, flutter fvm okay you can see all these things are been listed and now i want to see what i am using so i will, will do flutter config now you can see that my flutter config says skip setup false and uh, git catch false now i don't know what has been downloaded by me i cannot recall it maybe if you are doing it in the future just do one thing that is F run fvm list command and this will tell you what flutter sdk has been installed on your system and you can see that currently right now i have installed two flutter versions that is 3.0.0 and 2.10.3 now what i have to use for global projects is flutter version 3 let's consider that i have to use flutter version 3 for global projects so what i'll do is flutter pm global 3.0.0 now this command sets Three has a default Flutter SDK for all of my projects unless and until I specify that I don't need this I don't need something else now we will be creating a local project which will use Flutter 2.10.3 and we will set a configuration that the project should use only 2.10.3 instead of 3.0.0 which is a global uh, Flutter SDK set by us in FVM so just to check out what is used by global we just type fvm list now you can see that flutter 3.0.0 is something which is used as global and we don't want to use that we want to use the second sdk which uh, we have installed that is 2.10.3 so let me just first create a new project for that i'll type fvm flutter create new project press enter Okay, so the keyword the new project is not available because 
it's a it's something which is not allowed so you need you need to give a proper name to your project after going to that i can do is cd log you just type fpm use use is a keyword which will which is which act as a function now you have to pass the name of the sdk you want to use that will be 2.10.3 i press enter now my project is ready with flutter version 2.10.3 to be used as its development sdk now you can see that there is one folder on line number two i'll highlight it fvm okay dot fvm what this folder indicates that you have set flutter version management into this uh, folder now let me just go into that and uh, show you so i will do it cd dot vm now i'll do ls you can see there are two things one is flutter sdk and one is flutter version management underscore config dot json now this is the file where we are making those changes related to our project so let me do one thing with code so now we are opening this into our vs code i'll yes i trust this author i click on this you can see we have set flutter version sdk has 2.10.3 now what if you want to change this just go to the root directory of your project now one second type fvm use 3.0.0 okay i'll come back to the file and now you can see that we have set it to 3.0.0 what happens if you type something which is not available let's try that out use 3.0.1 will directly tell you that it is not installed would you like to install it you say yes it will try to search if you say no it will just keep it and i don't want to go into installing another package so i'll just say no so this is how you actually use it this is how you actually configure your project and you can just start your development afterwards this will help you out a lot in future when you actually want to develop multiple projects at a time which depends on different kind of SDKs. And this is a pro tip which everyone in Flutter community should know. I hope so. These edits are useful and uh, it doesn't bore you out. And please do let me know if I was able to help you out in some way to understand how you can start from being a novice to become a pro in development with this small tip. So this being a first video, thank you for joining me on the small journey. See you next time. Bye.